While I've tried to keep this channel geared towards music promotion and creativity, sometimes you need to be honest with yourself when doing a YouTube channel, and as someone who's been working on Pro Tools every day for 21 years, I realize it's sometimes better to just talk about what you know instead of what you want to discuss. So here we are. I'm making this video because I have tons of musicians that I work with who want to work at home, especially during the coronavirus. So one of the things I've learned from being in the studio with some of the biggest artists of music is one of the keys to making great work is to take the time to make great rough mixes, since without them, it's hard to judge your songs and know what you should do next. So even when you have no intention of mixing your songs yourself, you should have a great plugin roster to do some rough mixes and make them sound a little bit more clear so you can make good judgments for your music. But I often hear that it's impossible to get a good mix without expensive plugins. That's not true. The fact is there's so many free plugins for Pro Tools, you can make great sounding records with them. Whether it's plugins for a mix or your creative palette, this video will go over every one you should download immediately to make better songs with Pro Tools. But I'm gonna do things different than most of these videos. Most of them just list off a top 10, but instead I'm gonna tell you every plugin I would download and use and what works best for each application. So every plugin I will talk about here is free or donation based, and they are all linked below in the description. I've used every single one of them in a production before, but I should note we will get into virtual instruments in a future video, and this one will only cover plugin effects. So you probably need some great EQ. If you've watched my URM Academy Fast Track, you know I'm a stickler for EQs and their colors, and I hate the stock Pro Tools EQ7. So I feel there's two styles of EQ, just like a Neve or an API has tons of color, and a Massenberg or SSL is more neutral, you need both styles. And luckily, you can get two great EQs from Tokyo Dawn Records. And while these EQs have a great set of features for free, you can get more advanced features if you want to pay for them. Their slick EQ is akin to those colored EQs, whereas the Nova is like a FabFilter, Pro-Q, or Slate Infinity EQ. You could use them on literally anything, depending on what you need in an EQ, and between the two of them, you'll have a lot of bases covered. If you're watching a tutorial and it calls for a Pultec clone, Pro Tools also comes with a few Pultec emulations that get the job done. Which also brings us to make sure you click below the fold on your Pro Tools download and get all the free plugins they give you, since I know so many people miss this, and they also miss that Pro Tools downloader app has tons of plugins in it as well. As well, if you have a powerful EQ, go grab the free EQs from Acoustica, as they are some of the best EQs out there, but you'll probably have to freeze or commit to them to use them. These are truly the best EQs for any amount of money that can add color to bland sounds to make them way more cool and colorful. Everyone's favorite toy is a compressor, and thankfully we finally have some good free ones. Like EQs, compressors have tons of colors. Pro Tools actually comes with tons of great compressors that work for certain things. I love the BF76 for a pumping compression on overhead and bass, and the Pro Compressor has some fantastic modes that work well for a free compressor on every instrument, and the multiband compressor it comes with is way better than the Wave C4 that so many people use. But if you want clean, more precise compression for your bus, I think the TDR Katelnikov compressor, which I'm sure I'm pronouncing badly, is awesome. And if you're imitating that SSL-style bus compression, this one can do it great. If you go to Slate's website, their virtual mix rack is a great place to start as they have Monster, which is amazing, and Revival, which is one of the best exciters you can get for any amount of money for when the instruments need more energy and color, all for free. You should also head over to Klanghelm's website and grab their free compressors and saturators as they offer great color. Then, of course, we have the ultimate synth and master bus magic box, OTT, which is a multiband compressor and expander that manages to make most things it touches better if used with discretion. We all love a lush reverb, so with Pro Tools you get the Studio Reverb, Reverb 1, and Dverb, which are all great when you need things. I particularly like Dverb for very short reverbs on vocals, and the other two for various effects. There's a huge suite of plugins you can download from a company called Melda, and their M Convolution Reverb really does some great stuff for the lack of money, but they have tons of other plugins which we'll mention later that you should use. Let's next talk about saturators. So many people think they should be compressing when they should be saturating. One of the main saturators I use is SoftTube's Free Saturator because it rules and can really thicken up sounds in an amazing way, especially on guitars, vocals, and the mix. Pro Tools comes with real tape saturation and it's very tape-like and definitely the best tape simulator for the lack of money that I have tried. And like I said, grab that Klanghelm saturator since it's really useful on drums and guitars. The best de -esser that money cannot buy is the standard Pro Tools de -esser, which is great for vocals or guitar squeaks. But if you're having regular trouble with S's and this isn't doing it for you, I highly suggest investing in a better one since it's not that great for tough jobs. Most likely, you're going to need to do some pitch correction or auto-tuning at some point. Melda's M auto-pitch may not have everything auto-tune has, but if you need 
pitch correction for free past using elastic audio to pitch clips, this is where to go. If you watch video tutorials, you probably hear mixers talking about transient designers. And Flux is one of my favorite plugin companies, and they make a great one in Bittersweet. It rules for adding attack to guitars and length to drums. If you are watching those tutorials, you're going to hear mixers talk about harmonizers and vocal doublers. And luckily, Isotope has a great one for you in their vocal doubler. If you're trying to make your mixes loud and clip your tracks to get them a little bit more workable, you need a brick wall limiter. Avid's Pro Limiter is one of the best free ones I've heard, but D16 Frontier is a great alternative and sounds totally different and may help you get what you need. Which reminds me, if you're using a brick wall limiter, you should have a loudness meter in back of it. So go grab the free Ulean loudness meter. You probably hear a lot about subharmonic synths, but I recommend you don't use one of these till you have some good monitors and skills since they can really make things go wrong. But when you're ready, the Avid Pro subharmonic synth is great and an amazing substitute for whatever you hear about using our bass. For my money, the Air Suite of Effects are some of the best modulation effects. They have the best phasers, flangers, and choruses. I love everything they do in this suite, and they really sound amazing. As well, all the guitar pedal emulations they have also do it, and they offer tons of other great free color that come right with Pro Tools. Speaking of the great Air Suite, Pro Tools Air Distortion and then their Lo-Fi plugin are two of the best in the game for effects, or even just putting color on any instrument, and I, along with countless top mixers, use them. You will also probably see all over the internet people using Camel Crusher since it's one of the greatest plugins ever and you've heard it on thousands of records. Stereo wideners are always great, especially if you need to make something that's mono stereo like a synthesizer or a guitar. And the Air Music Technology Stereo Widener is absolutely amazing. And no, don't worry, I didn't forget about delays. But here's what I will say about delays in Pro Tools. Pro Tools comes with so many great delays that you really just need to play with them and get to know them. Yes, you can move up to Echo Boy or Repeater later, like all the pros, but really, they give you everything you need in here and just play with them and find the right delay for what you do each time. But if you want to get really weird, there's tons of cool special effects. Valhalla has a few free reverb and delay plugins that make fun noises, whereas Freak Show Industries has tons of weird stuff. That's it here. Head down to the description to get links to download all these, and let me know your favorite plugins and what you find with these in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe.